and today we're going to check out Rails version 5. I think the uh, beta number 3 is out. And um, we're going to use uh, Ruby 2.3.0 to, uh, to run it. Um, this is my first time doing this live, uh, spending any time with Rails 5. So I expect there to be a couple issues to run, to, run into. If uh, anything's overwhelmingly difficult or time consuming, we'll, we'll kind of cut those parts and come back to them. But uh, I'm not really not sure what to expect. But anyway, uh, I'm going to do this. Make a new directory called Rails 5 uh, temp, and because uh, I got uh, RBEV installed, so CD rail or rail 5 temp, um, and then let's just check out my Ruby version real quick. Okay, so I'm running 2.2.4 and RBEV versions. Uh, Uh, and I can have uh, 2.3, so I'll only just do rbev set local 2.2. It's uh, the other way around. Local set. Come on. It's been a while. So Ruby version. All right. Um, so let's go ahead and install it now. I um, believe what I can do is just do, uh, well, install bundler. I, I, don't, I don't know if bundler is installed on 2.3. Let's get bundler installed just in case. Okay, yeah. All right, and then we'll do gem install rails. And then I think we can do v... 5.0.0 dot beta 3 and that should work um not quite sure um on that one let's see if it let's see if it rolls through here oh it looks like it's working so I get in the beta 3 gems it's excellent it's moving pretty fast. I've got a video rendering in the background uh, for this change calculator I just did uh, to help some people out who are struggling with it. Um, it's not so much that the task is difficult, it's the, the thought process you take to, to get there. So that video should help a couple of people who are beginners. Anyway, um, let's go ahead and using our, our new one, we'll just do, um, uh <coughs> we'll create a new project. So Let's go ahead and do Rails new, and then we'll go my test app, and I believe this will install Rails five. Uh, I hope it's not defaulting to Rails four or something like that. I don't know if I've got that installed on here or not. Mm, looks like it's installing some new stuff, so I, I don't think so. Using Rails 5 beta 3. Okay, so that that seems to have worked. Um, looks like it went in perfectly the first time, which is surprising. Um, I, I know I had an upgrading, uh, so I go to GitHub right now. I had a couple of issues uh, installing, um, no, not that one. Uh, getting yeah, a couple days ago I did install Ruby 2.3 and I had a uh, Rails 4.26 running, so <coughs> there was there was a bit of an issue to get that on there, and I had to uninstall uh, the JavaScript engine uh, V8 a couple times and uninstall Ruby Racer and reinstall them. But you had to do it with this OpenSSL flag, um, so that was some of the troubleshooting I had before and getting that done and then reinstalling it. So. Uh, there was there was a bit of back and forth with it um, that was not so much fun. Anyway, uh, I guess I'll link this down in the comments there. Uh, if people want to take a look at it, let's do some show notes thing. So I'll copy that down into here and 
let people have it if they want to. Usually, this is the change calculator here. We don't need to recall that. All right. So um, I'm going to go ahead and go into uh, what did I call the project anymore? It's like my, yeah, so CD my test app. I'm just going to go uh, Rails S and see if it boots up. Oh my god. Uh Puma starting single mode version three point four min threads five max. Oh that's cool. I like that. Codename Owl Bull Brawl. Hmm. Um so I guess are they defaulting to use Puma instead of Webrick these days? Is that one of the changes? I I don't know. Uh let's go ahead and go localhost. Oh, it's not it's localhost and not the other one. Wow, look at this. The the default Rails page is changed as well. This is amazing. Uh I'm gonna get my basic stuff here. So welcome controller index. Is that a is that a default one? Wow, that's that's pretty cool. Alright, let's get out of that. Um I'm gonna open up in Ruby Mine to explore it a bit. Um so Ruby Mine. Okay, it's, it's bringing up an old project. Uh, I want to open up a new one, so open. And what we'll do is, yeah, I don't want it to, to open all that stuff for us here. Get rid of that one there. So we've uh, let's refresh these guys. Rails five. Uh, where is it? Temp Rails five. Where did I? What was the name I gave this thing? Uh, rail five temp. There it is. And that's the app here. So let's open up that app. Okay, cool. So, um, looks like that welcome controller was just something in the, oh man, look at this application mailers default, uh, action cable, cable base, action connection cable. That's pretty cool. So it's, everything's real familiar. Cable.coffee, um, views, layouts, the mailers kind of cr crazy. So we've got our typical project here. Um, I think what's missing right now is that uh, Ruby Mind's whining that it, it doesn't know what's going on, pretty much. So we need to do um, Ruby, you know, uh, 2.3.0, and then uh, and here we need to do uh, let's just do vi dot Ruby version. We'll just do two point insert 2.3.0. Uh, right quit. Uh, and that'll give us, there we go. Um, and then sometimes it needs just a, a couple seconds to refresh. Um, so languages, yeah, okay. So d we need to select that guy there. Okay. Okay, we should be able to re uh, reload that rake task list and then it looks like a 2.2 point three is not installed test app um ruby version let's take a look oh look at that i don't know how that got all sorts of three point zero save did it i guess uh we didn't write it and quit it fast enough okay so it's syncing now i think it should be reloading those rake tasks um Ooh, was that we just had like a nightmare flash I don't know what happened there okay so uh, I think we're all good to go yeah looks like the tasks loaded um, let's go ahead and run it just to see what happens um, it's running on uh, 
Tell us this booty on Puma. 3000. Zero. Uh, version four. Listening. So we should be able to go back over to here. And looks like it's running fine. It's very cool. All right. So that didn't take nearly as long as I thought it would to get this guy up. So what I want to do um, is play around a little bit with the action cable uh, and check it out. Uh, maybe we'll make a simple chat app or something like that. Uh, I've personally never played with web sockets that much. Um, so it's, it's going to be... Uh, a little bit of a new adventure for me and uh, what I'll try to do is webcast it as much as possible um, and we'll kind of see what kind of issues run into which ones that don't run into and um, so on and so forth um, but I expect to do this with the rest of the beta and then what I'll probably do is uh, have a couple of projects that uh, we upgrade from Rails 4.2.6 uh, to running Ruby 2.3 so if, if anything's running from you know a, a past version of because uh, I do have older projects that are in like rails 4.2 point whatever just X um, no rails 4.1 but I do have several that are running like Ver Ruby version 2.2 2 and 2.24 uh, um, just a handful here and there uh, anyway what I'll do is I'll bump them all up to Ruby 2.3 and uh, Rails 4.2.6 just to kind of get everything on the same page and then when we're ready to make the migration to 5 we will of course that migration to 5 will probably be after it comes general release we won't do a beta version um, and after probably a new patch comes out for uh, Ruby 2.3 so we'll, we'll the prediction over the next coming months will be uh, Ruby 2.31 and then uh, Rails, you know, uh, Gold Master. So um, that's what I'm kind of uh, expecting from this. Anyway, what I'll do is I will go ahead and put this on GitHub and link it in the description. I'll link the other one in the description here um, just to kind of give you guys some background of what I'm doing here um, and how our progress goes. So we'll, we'll go ahead and put this in the video comments or uh, description here. Anyway, uh, thanks for watching, and then um, it wasn't very hard for us to get started here, um, and we'll start to get, get started with Action Cable over the next couple weeks. Thanks for watching.